the same thing with this one. Okay, we were inside the woman. And now she's gone. Story of a uh, story of adulthood, kids. So it's been a while since I've played this game. I think the last time I played it was, uh... Was, um... I don't remember exactly when. But, uh, we're playing it now. So for anybody who doesn't know, this game was a game that was made in the late 90s that was uh, kind of bizarre. And the way it works is that you just explore and see weird things, and you almost always start here. But if you touch any walls or any special objects, you'll be teleported somewhere else. It's always a neat place to go, I remember. The things that were being done with the PlayStation in the day. This must have blown people's minds at the time. to go through. Let me go through. Please. Let's go on an epic adventure. Thank you. I'm gonna go see the giant fish. Check out the giant fish, guys. You'll make a great spicy tuna roll someday. Now something you should understand about this game is that the more you play, the worse it gets. None of the signs have any labels on them. So I'll just go over here. So this is where the where you drop acid for the fiftieth time. And you start seeing things. There's a horse. There are multiple horses going to follow them. Whoa. Oh. What the heck? What the heck? I've never seen this before. It's a plane. There is a face. Hi. Now, what does that cloud look like, Johnny? That 
looks like a gun. Johnny. Johnny, no. Oh. I want to go to the Ferris wheel. Oh, there's a cutscene! It just, it just keeps getting worse. Step on me, giant. Typically when you go inside of giant ladies, you need to leave. I've seen that kind of lighting before in any PlayStation game. Okay guys, I've become rather bored of this, so if you guys want to see more, then uh, just let me know. And I'll do more. <laughs>